Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So just a couple of days ago, I let you know that Fly OBE version 1.50 had rolled out. And now we have version 1.51 that has been released. So as I've mentioned previously, the developer is pushing out these updates at a rate of knots. Now, just a quick overview once again as to what's new. And first of all, if you are running the app to check if you have the latest version, you just head to your settings and this will fetch the update if there's a new version available. And this is quite a minor release, but a lot of the focus in this update is for the extensions. Now, the first improvement is the developer says the extensions system. has been improved again and the PowerShell based engine has been expanded and here we can see Flyby 11 is now included as a native extension within Fly OBE and Flyby 11 was the previous version of the app or the name of the app before it was renamed to Fly OBE and updated to Fly OBE and it's also mentioned that on Windows 10 systems a dedicated upgrade tile will appear on the home dashboard, allowing you to launch the Windows 11 upgrade workflow directly with help instructions included. And then heading back to those extensions, the next so-called improvement for extensions is they can now display their author or source, such as Flyby 11, BLIM as we can see, or Chris Titus Tech app powered by Chris Titus Tech, which I actually think is a nice move. This adds transparency, the developer says, and helps users understand where each tool originates from. And this feature will be expanded further in future updates. And they've also updated the extensions docs. And the last improvement is the update improves Fly OBE's behavior on some high resolution displays. And apparently, there's been several UI scaling issues on 4K screens and Windows scaling levels above 200% have been causing issues and have now been fixed. And elements such as tiles, layout, spacing, and navigation now scale consistently and no longer overlap. So minor update, but a big focus on those extensions. So if you are using the app, which is a popular app to bypass system requirements, then just a quick video to let you know. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.